Hello all, my name is Prabhakar. I am making a series of videos available to you to learn Amazon Web Services and in this session we are going to talk about Amazon Elastic Load Balancer and the Classic Load Balancer. So here is a content for today's session. Brief about Elastic Load Balancing and inside a lab I am going to explain how to set up and configure Classic Load Balancer for two EC2 instances. First of all, what is AWS Elastic Load Balancer? With the help of Elastic Load Balancing, so it will automatically distribute your incoming application traffic across multiple targets. These targets are nothing but your EC2 instances. And Elastic Load Balancing, it will support uh, three different types of uh, load balancers, application, a network, and a classic load balancer. Application, network, load balancer I already covered in my previous videos and this video it is only for the classic load balancer and main difference between the application load balancer and the classic load balancer both uh, will seems to be same okay application load balancer it actually allows uh, user specific range of HTTP response codes that define the instance health so based on the HTTP response code like uh, if I uh, if I access any URL from the any EC2 instance and which is uh, giving the response code as a 200 or 2, 2k and uh, uh, 2 plus um, uh, response codes then uh, then application load balancer will determine that okay your uh, EC2 instance is healthy but coming to the classic load balancer so it actually automatically detect the unhealthy instances with the help of uh, uh, EC2 uh, instance availability so application load balancer which will work uh, only for the HTTP and HTTPS uh, uh, port, uh, and the ports and the protocols and a classic load balancer which will work for HTTP, HTTPS as well as a TCP protocols and the application load balancer it only supports the cookies generated by the load balancer only and there is no application comes in between that but uh, classic load balancer which supports the uh, custom application uh, cookies and uh, coming to the another part is application load balancer which supports the dynamic uh, port mapping using EC2 container service and here and there is no uh, there is no dynamic mapping and uh, dynamic map between the port and then container service so here it supports only fixed mapping between the listeners and the target host and as i said so it supports uh, http https web sockets and uh, those protocols only and uh, classic load balancer which supports um, http https and tcp uh, protocols and here backend server authentication is supported on application load balancer and uh, here there is no backend application uh, authentication not supported we have to use any third party tools in order to authenticate your backend server and path based uh, routing um, we can enable and uh, it support an application uh, load balancer so that inside your url if there is any uh, substring is there based on the url you can forward and you can distribute the load accordingly and uh, here path based uh, routing is not supported here and uh, application load balancer supports dynamic port mapping using the EC2 container service and here it supports only fixed mapping between the listeners and the targets. Let's go to uh, the classic load balancer setup, how to set up and then how to create and how to test that. Here is my AWS management console. You can go to uh, services and create a EC2 instance. So here I'm going to install uh, Apache 2 uh, on the two different EC2 instance and both are going to run in port 80, okay? And uh, so I will enable the classic load balancer so that uh, based on the request, okay? So in the round robin fashion, so it will uh, distribute the target from one mission to another mission. First time it will serve from the mission one. Second time it will serve from the mission two, okay? So I'm launching uh, instance, EC2 instance, okay? So here uh, I'm selecting uh, Ubuntu as a server. So, and uh, free tier eligibility. So I'm using the T2 micro. So all these details I already covered in my previous uh, EC2 setup, okay? And the previous videos, I have specified a link in the description. And here in the user data, at the time of uh, instance creation, so I can install a required uh, software packages on this. So for that, I can go to, um, I can go here and then I can configure, 
Okay, so here if you see that, um, so these are the uh, three commands I can use it uh, for uh, installing the Apache 2 on my uh, EC2 instance. Okay, so I'm copying these three commands. Okay, so you can paste it here. Add a storage and add the tags. Okay, so the tag name I'm putting it as uh, name and I'm putting it as the server one. Okay, and uh, go to the next configure group and inside this configure group I'm creating a security group here like uh, Apache and uh, security group okay so and I'm going to ex uh, expose uh, uh, application an HTTP port 80 so that's why I have specified a port range is 80 for HTTP and now go here and uh, launch launch the instance and uh, so I'm uh, accessing with the key pair here So now if I go here, okay. So uh, my instance is up and running here, okay. And uh, I can I can access a public DNS uh, name as well as a public IP for accessing my Apache server URL, okay. So uh, let's wait for a couple of uh, more seconds uh, in order to uh, put the uh, uh, instance into the running state, okay. Now this instance is up and running, okay. <clears throat> what I can do <clears throat> here, uh, if I copy the public DNS name and if I put it here, okay, so it will take another couple of seconds to launch the instance. Refresh it, okay. So my uh, my EC2 instance and uh, where I have installed Apache, uh, that is successfully installed and I am able to access it with the help of a public uh, DNS name. So now I have a server one. And uh, so uh, here, so what I can do, um, so I can make another uh, copy and server two, right click on the server one and uh, select the option as launch, launch uh, more like this. Okay, so and uh, same options I can use it. Only one thing is uh, I can modify that tags here instead of uh, putting it as a server one, I can make it as a server two, okay. And uh, launch and configure it and then launch it okay so and again so here also it will install the apache by default okay so now if you see that i have two instances here okay and server one and server two and for server two and if i access the same page again it will display in the same url and the same uh, uh, different url with the same page uh, but coming to the load balancer, it is very difficult to identify that, okay, whether the response is coming from the server one or server two. So for uh, um, distinguish uh, the response from the server one to server two, what I'm going to do uh, for the server one, so I'm going to change this title as uh, the response from server one. And for server two, I'm going to change the uh, response from the server two, okay. So for doing that, I'm accessing uh, server one here, okay. So you can copy this and uh, go to the terminal okay so let let me increase the zoom the uh, uh, font size copy uh, connection string And now I'm in the AWS uh, server one Ubuntu instance. And uh, here under uh, www.html, I have a index.html. And here I can modify that uh, with the required text. Okay. So here, if, if we scroll down below, there you can find the string here. Okay. Here is a title for that, okay, Apache 2 and Ubuntu default page. So I'm going to make it as a response, response from server one, okay. So if I copy uh, and if I save the changes, okay, and go back to the instance, and if I, re if I refresh the page, okay so you can get this kind of response from the system so similarly i can modify it for the server 2 also so that uh, i can easily distinguish uh, okay uh, the responses from the two different ec2 instances okay 
So I'm terminate the connection. Access uh, mission two. And where www.html index.html here is a page okay here I can modify it as a response from server to Save the changes. Now go to the browser. Access the public uh, DNS of server two and uh, check that. Okay, whether the response is coming properly. Yes. So a response from server one and response to server two. And now it's time to create a, a classic load balancer. So for that, uh, on the EC2 instance page itself. Okay, scroll down below and uh, at the bottom you can find that okay load balancing section. Click on the load balancers. So as I said, there are three types of load balancers here. Okay, the application network and the classic load balancers. Okay, so this uh, classic load balancer, uh, which actually take the routing decisions at uh, transport layer as well as in application layer. So when it comes for the transport layer, the TCP protocol will work. And uh, when it comes for the application layer, HTTP and HTTPS uh, protocols will come into the picture. Okay, click on the create. And I'm giving it as uh, like a Prabhaka iPhone classic load balancer, CLB. And here you can uh, select internal uh, load balancer. It will uh, internally, it will add an uh, additional load balancer for that. So I don't require any uh, advanced uh, virtual private network configuration for that. I'm using a default um, uh, VPC here. And uh, port 80 is sufficient for me because I'm serving uh, only Apache static website uh, with the index page and go to the security groups. And inside the security groups, I'm using Apache uh, SG, which I have used uh, for configuring uh, my EC2 instances. And now go here and then check the health checks. Here, I don't require to modify anything here. And whenever uh, index.html page is available, okay, so and uh, the port 80, and it will check every, uh, every 30 seconds. And um, so if uh, within a five seconds, the response is not come, so it will, uh, it will identify that, okay, so your server is unhealthy. So and go to the next EC2 and I'm running a two instances here. I'm selecting two instances. <coughs> and uh, here uh, I don't require to enable. So uh, crash on uh, load balancing here. So if I enable that, okay, availability of my EC2 instance will be very huge. And I'm disabling that. And at the same time, okay, I don't require this uh, enable connection drawing, okay. So I can also put it, uh, that's not a problem. So if I enable the cross zone availability, so it will increase the availability of your instances by the each and every uh, zone. So and go to the tags part, okay. Tags are optional here and go to review and create it, okay. So I have created a classic load balancer here. And uh, so here is my load balancer details here, okay. Here is my DNS for accessing the load balancer. And coming to the instances, and these are the two instances which I have configured, but the two instance state is uh, out of service because the registration is uh, still in progress and it will take a couple of minutes uh, for uh, configuring and registering the uh, EC2 instances on inside a um, classic load balancer. And now if we check the instances status, uh, it's in a service. Okay, now go to a uh, classic load balancer description page and you can find the DNS name here copy the DNS name and open the new tab and check the DNS name. So now uh, the response is coming from the server one. And if we refresh that, okay, now the response is coming from the server two. So this is how um, your traffic uh, will be redirected from one server to another server. So even I'm using only one URL, that is a load balancer URL, and but internally it is managing the traffic accordingly, okay. So if I refresh it again, so and uh, so if I refresh it multiple times, okay, based on the available instance. So now it is uh, uh, returning the um, uh, 
uh, uh, now it is redirecting the traffic to the subfar point. Okay, so this is how uh, we can uh, switch the traffic between the application one and application two, where the, these applications are installed uh, in a different uh, EC2 instances. So, and uh, we come to end of the session here, and um, I hope uh, you enjoy the video. And um, so hopefully this lab uh, give you a chance to work with uh, the classic load balancer and uh, I will see you in the next lab. Thanks for watching this video.